Last time, pinag-aralan natin ang problem solving involving squares, rectangles, triangles, parallelogram, and trapezoids. Ano nga ulit ang agonsa? A stands for ask. What is ask in the problem? G, given. O, operation. N, number sentence. S, solution. And A, answer. Solve this problem using a gonsa. You can pause the video para masagutan mo ito ng maayos. This week, ang pag-aaral natin ay finding the volume of a solid figure. At the end of this week, you're expected to visualize the volume of solid figures in different situations using non-standard and standard units. And find the volume of a prism using cubic centimeter and cubic meters. What can you see? Gaano kaya kadami ang tubig? Kapag pinag-uusapan natin ang dami ng tubig, pinag-uusapan natin ang volume. Ano nga ba ang volume? Volume is the amount of space a solid figure occupies. Sa pagkuha ng volume, pwede tayong gumamit ng non-standard units. Pwede tayong gumamit ng marbles, beans, stones, at iba pa. Kapag maliit ang non-standard unit na gagamitin natin, mas marami tayong kailangan para mapuno ang isang container. Kapag naman mas malaki ang non-standard unit, mas kaunti naman ang kailangan upang mapuno ang isang container. Let us look at this example. Jane and Carlo want to find the volume of an empty box. Una, nilagyan nila ito ng bola. There are about 54 balls that fill the box. Next, they filled it with marbles. About 285 marbles filled the box. Then, they filled the box with beans. About 754 beans filled the box. Pare-pares bang nakuha nilang number of units? Bakit kaya? Hindi consistent o accurate ang measurement kapag gumagamit tayo ng non-standard unit. Rectangular prism Rectangular prism is a solid figure that has 6 faces, 12 edges, and 8 vertices. Ganito ang itsura ng isang rectangular prism. Vertex is the corner of a shape. Edge is a segment where two faces of a prism meet. I have here a cube. Ang formula in finding the volume of a cube is side times side times side. For example, ang sukat ng side ay 3. So, i-multiply lang natin 3 times 3 times 3. Ang volume nito ay 27 cubic units. Ito naman ay isang rectangular prism. Meron itong length, width, and height. Ang formula in finding the volume of a rectangular prism is length times width times height. Ang length nito ay 4 cm, width is 3 cm, and height 5 cm. Imamultiply lang natin. 4 cm times 3 cm times 5 cm is equal to 60 cubic centimeters. Let us have another example. Imultiply lang ang length, width, and height. You can pause the video so that you can answer this properly. The volume of this rectangular prism is 56 cubic centimeters. Now, you may begin answering the learning tasks. Ito lang ang mga learning tasks na kailangang sagutan. Learning task 2. Use the formula to find the volume of each prism below. Learning task 3. Visualize using non-standard units. Which box will have the greater number of mongo seeds? Write yes if greater and no if not. Learning task 4. 
find the volume using the given measurement. Learning task 6. Answer the following on your paper. Volume is the amount of space a solid figure occupies. Non-standard units can be used to measure volume but it does not give consistent and accurate measurements. Ang units na ginagamit natin sa volume ay cubic centimeters or cubic meters. To find the volume of a rectangular prism, ang ginagamit natin ay length times width times height. Sa cube naman, ay side to the third power or side times side times side. And for our final learning task, learning task 8, find the volume of each rectangular prism.